Welcome back again, YouTube fans, and welcome back to the only main channel, Spider Theorist. Hello, guys. I am Jazzy once again, back from the long hiatus. And I think in our last previous video, uh, we did what we were talking about a bunch of Power Rangers projects, uh, especially for this upcoming thing soon with Hasbro dealing with the new Power Rangers reboot coming in 2025. It's going to take a long hiatus. There's no, it's like lately, it's been quiet with the whole Ranger Nation and stuff. And it's like, um, since Cosmic Fury last aired, it's more like we're not getting more seasons with the franchise of Power Rangers soon enough. And with you know power rangers is taking a break for this 2024 year there's gonna be no more you know power rangers after this until we get further notice from hasbro saying that oh we're gonna start making the power rangers reboot to bring back the franchise of power rangers since the whole height of the year 2024 um they're starting to at least get productions in 2025 that's from what i hear but as far as we all know we're gonna get power rangers reboot in 2025 until we get down the line to see what it's gonna be like for the future franchise of power rangers but that's not what i'm gonna be talking about for this video actually um so with two months i'm not releasing videos i came back here to at least say something about one of our favorite characters from the old power rangers dino fury cosmic fury season with all the cast with russell curry hunter dino all those amazing dino fury cosmic fury cast i'm going to be reviewing one by one like i think there's gonna be about at least seven videos including billy cranston since he appears for mighty morphin and cosmic fury it's more better to know what these characters have been going through since the entire Dino Fury and Cosmic Fury season, step by step. And we're pretty much here to support back with all the Ranger fans who's been, you know, watching Power Rangers throughout the 30 years. And it's time to at least, you know, to know what these characters have been going through the entire season. And we're going to be discussing in this video. So, so the first character I'm going to bring up in today's video, which our favorite, at least our favorite Dino Fury, Cosmic Fury member, uh, his name is Zato, who was one of the 65 million year old knights from Rafcon. So let's at least start off with his character in this video. So Zato was a 65 year old knight, and then somehow he was frozen to a current presence on Earth. Uh, so he was raised in Rafcon with a bunch of Rafconians. He was the leader of the Rafcon crew, destroying all the sports beasts from his home planet. And regardless, you know, with that huge sport, sports beast attack, it kind of destroyed m millions of his memories back in that um, huge fight on Rafcon. He let somehow when he was with Ion, he let the sports generator unleash. All these sports went out. He wasn't responsible for all those sports when um, when he decided to release the sports for his greater good. And then he just let them all out. He battled against Ion, who was his old comrade from Rafcon. Now, he's back, like, in the first episode. He was in that pod thing. He, like, was the Red Ranger. He was frozen. Someone has to get him out. And with, you know, the Red Ranger fighting with Ali and Amelia, who I actually turned with um, the Blue and the Pink Rangers, they all fight it out, even especially for Void Knight, coming to Dino Henge to collect all the sports that he can get to power up whatever he was trying to power up with. And then with Zato trying to at least fight and do some battle actions with Void Knight, he was trying to get the sports to keep it safe. But since Void Knight let the sports release, it's more like, oh, Zato could at least try harder to, you know, go after the sports with every episode as he can to, you know, to stop it preventing from everyone. Um, then Zato notices two new uh, recruit members who is now the Dino Fury Blue and Pink Ranger, the two iconic duos, Ali and Amelia, which sets up a good personalities for their traits, even though they're like buttheads. But also, they turn out to be like at least a great uh, relationship way down the line. Also, want to point out for at least season two, um, in that Rafcon episode, I like to share. That's like the most iconic uh, episodes I, I actually like truly like about the uh, season two Dino Fury, uh, which is Rafcon reveal. It kind of has some essence in that episode where you know Zato's trying to find his Rafcon planet, even though like current current to the present, it's like Rafcon's been found. You know, because Rafcon was been hitting all these years. But when Zato and Ion and the rest of the Rangers finds Rafcon, it's like a huge amount of grass. But it's like Lord Zed is there trying to take over Rafcon. And then Rafcon was like, swoosh! It's erased because he destroyed it with Scrozzle with that Rafcon machine. And it's like, whoa, Rafcon's gone? Oh, that is not a good sign. So it's like Rafcon's gone, so which means Zato is trying to still lead a team. But, you know, being, with, being on Earth is like his part of his worries to at least go after the sports right until at the scene to finale we see him he dead and then he's no longer the dino fury red ranger anymore so that's some really connected dots for his character though but back to the real story but back to zato again so zato is a 65 million year old knight um he is the red ranger uh, for dino fury until he died at season two in the finale i think he was brought back as the zenith dino fury ranger it was supposed to be the ghost or the white ranger where hasbro nearly calls it the zenith ranger and then um during the first uh yeah i think it's the first episode of cosmic fury at the first episode of cosmic fury 
you know, with Lord Zed blasts him to that time portal. That was like the last time we see Zato with the red helmet and the last time being as the leader, you know, since he's away from the past, like, the first three episodes of the season when he was gone. Uh, he went to his, um, Levina to, um, you know, restore his energy since he has the magic freedom. The Morph Masters give him energy, uh, that magic, you know, to help people. But once he knows his way down the line, he became a Zenith Ranger when he was released from that tree in Levina. Uh, the Morph Masters told him that he has, um, spend much time as you can. Um, you have this, how many months you want to live, but it's more like he didn't have much time to stick around and just help with the Rangers, especially with that magic that's going through him. So it's more like he's going on his own mission and try to at least defeat Zed. But, you know, in the Master Plan episode, Zato dies and uses his last magic to at least help people from that self-destruction. And then pretty much we kind of see Z Zato in that weird form of Zordon in episode 10. Like, he, I mean, from what I know, Russell Curry was playing Zordon. That looks like Zato, but it's not because of that blue eye contact. Um, but that wasn't Zato. That was like Zord Zordon or Zordon. But um, Zato did come back and return as the Morphin Master. So once the Rangers have Morph, it's like the Morph Master staff was brought back to Zato once he revised from the grid. He turned into a Morph Master, trying to stop Zed as he could. And then basically that's like the end chapter of uh, Zato with his mortal life. It's like mortal life is over and I can't, you know, stick around with you guys because, you know, I'm done with this. It's like my retirement. It's It comes to this point where Zato needs to like help with the grid with um, all those um, powers and stuff. So at least his chapter is over. He did a well... He did a really brilliant job leading the team, you know, how the, um, how to, you know, teach these people how to do the right thing and do all these stuff. He's at least the greatest ranger. And I got to say way down the line, like Zato is the greatest powerful ranger more than anyone else. Um, but he did at least have a lot of potential growth throughout the rest of the years, you know, uh, learning to get to know Earth, uh, reunite with his friend from Rafcon for 65 million, um, help with destroying the Sporks Beast, become a Zenith Ranger, become the Morphin Master, at least, there were some essential points throughout the season that Zato even made a progression on. And this, this is like, I mostly like this character because this character seems a bit very interesting time to time. But at least he did his uh, best to at least co cooperate with the team, especially not being evil. But this guy has some great potential. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. Until next time for our next future video of Power Rangers character discussion, I am Jazzy. And remember, it's only just a theory. A film theory! And I just want to appreciate you guys again for taking time out of your day. Just make sure you watch for future content. And... As always, I'm closing out, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. And cut!